In this video, we're going to do a demonstration of the NIH Stroke Scale, and we're also going to show you how to document it into Meditech. Please note that it is best practice to perform one test at a time and to document as you go, just like you see in this video. Let's get started. The first step of the NIH Stroke Scale is to assess the level of consciousness. So here we're going to assess Tasha's level of consciousness. Tasha, Tasha, hi, how are you? Tasha, Tasha. As you can see, she is responding to me and she is awake, but she is going back to sleep. So here I would select number two that says cannot stay awake. In the next question, we're going to assess the level of consciousness. We're going to do that by asking two questions. Can you tell me your name? Mom. Mom. And can you tell me what year it is? 1994. Tasha didn't get either of the questions correct, so she would get right here a number two, which is neither correct. If somebody's intubated, they automatically score one point, and if somebody's aphasic or in a stupor so that they can't respond, then they score two points. Next, we're going to assess the level of consciousness with commands. Tasha, can you open and close your eyes? Great. And can you open and close your left fist? Great. Here, Tasha was able to obey both commands, so here she would get a zero. Next, we're going to assess lateral gaze, and we're going to do that by asking Tasha to follow my finger with her eyes, but not moving her head. As you can see, she is looking to the right, but she is neglecting to look to the left. So she would score a one with the partial side eye movement. Now we're going to assess visual fields and we're going to do that by having Tasha cover one of her eyes and then I'm going to check all quadrants of her visual fields by holding up a number and seeing if she can tell me which number I'm holding up. So Tasha, if you can cover your right eye and tell me how many numbers I'm holding up. One. How many? One. Okay. And let's cover your left eye. Two, two, one. Okay, perfect. When Tasha was covering her right eye, she got the numbers wrong, but she got the numbers right when she was covering her left eye. So for that, we would give her a score of a one. Now we're going to assess for facial palsy, and we're going to do that by asking Tasha to smile and raise your eyebrows. Tasha had an obvious droop with smile and also with the eyebrow raise. So she would score a one, which is a mild side droop with smile. Now we're going to do a motor assessment of the arms. We're going to do that by having Tasha hold each of her arms up one by one and counting to 10. We're trying to see if she's able to keep her arm up or if she has difficulty. Tasha, can you raise your right arm and hold it up for 10 seconds? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great. Now can you hold your left arm up? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Tasha was able to hold up her right arm, but her left arm did drift down and hit the bed. So on her right arm, she would score a zero, and on her left arm, she would score a two. Now we're going to do the motor assessment of the legs. We're going to do it the same way that we did it with the arms by asking Tasha to lift her legs off the bed, but we're only going to ask her to hold it for five seconds. Tasha, can you lift your right leg up for five seconds and hold it off the bed for five seconds? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Great. All right. Now let's do it with the left leg. Let's hold it up and count to five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. In this example, Tasha was able to hold her right leg up for the five seconds, so she would get a zero for that. And on the left leg, it did drift down and hit the bed, so she would get a two for that. Next, we're going to assess limb ataxia. We're going to do this by having Tasha touch her nose and then touch my finger. Okay. So Tasha, can you touch your nose? And then I want you to touch my finger at different positions. Good, good, good. 
Okay, let's try to do the same thing with your left arm. Good. Okay, let's try it one more time. Okay. Next, we're going to assess the coordination of the legs. To do that, I'm going to have Tasha take her heel and run it up and down the shin and see if she's able to do that. So if you can take your left heel and run it up and down your leg. Perfect. Okay. Now let's see if you can do that with your right heel. Perfect. Here, Tasha was clumsy with her left arm. So she would get a score of one, which is clumsy in one limb. Next, we're going to assess for sensation. So we're going to take some common objects and I'm going to check her face, her arms, and her legs to see if the sensation feels the same. All right, Tanya, just let me know if the sensation feels the same, okay? Does that feel the same? No. What feels different? The left side, I don't feel it. You don't feel it here? No. Okay. What about here? Yes. Okay. And what about here? Yes. Okay, perfect. Tasha said that she could not feel the sensation on her left cheek. For that, we would give her a score of two. Next, we're going to assess language and speech together. We're going to use the NIH cue cards that are available in our stroke book. So Tasha, can you describe to me what is happening in this picture? Well, looks like the mom is washing dishes and the water is overflowing out of the sink. Mm -hmm. And the little boy is trying to take cookies from the cookie jar, but it's getting ready to fall from the stool and his sister is laughing. Perfect. Can you name these objects? Love, feather, hammock, chair, cactus, and key. Perfect. And can you read these? You know how down to earth, I got home from work, near the table in the dining room, they heard him speak on the radio last night. Mama, tip top, 50-50, thanks, Huckleberry, baseball player. Perfect. So Tasha was able to speak fluently without any issues and she said correct full sentences. So for this, she would get a zero. And her speech was clear without any slurring. So for this, she would also get a zero. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to check for neglect. And to do that, I'm going to have Tasha close her eyes. I'm going to ask her to let me know which arms and legs that I'm touching. Close your eyes. Right. Left. Both. Okay. And now I'm going to go to your legs. Right. Left. Both. Perfect. Since she got all of the sensations correct, she would score a zero here.